Okay, here's the very simple best way to set up an FTP site using Dreamweaver CS5. It's visually the same, it's visually different from CS4, but it's the same technique. So the first one we're going to do is go to Site, New Site. Now, what you call the site name is totally up to you. So if your site is mysite.com, I would simply just call it my site. So in this particular case, we're just going to say my site. That's or actually, more specifically, let's say my new site. So I'm going to cut that command X or control X on Windows. Now Dreamweaver needs to know where the site is being kept on your computer, on your computer. So I'm going to navigate my way to my website folder. Now I have to keep website folder on my desktop. So simply select your new site folder and hit choose. That's going to be the root folder for your site. This only has to be set up one time per website. Once it's set up, Dreamweaver knows exactly where the files go. Then I go to servers, and pick the plus symbol, and type in the name of the site. Again, I can just paste. We're going to connect your FTP, then input your FTP information that was provided to you from either myself <laughs> or as your teacher or your web host provider. So I'm just going to put in site.com. Then I put the site's username. So we're just going to put in my site's username. Then put in password. Okay, root directory, www. Now again, this information is provided to you from your service provider. If you want one of my students, then I provide you the information. So then I'm going to put down here the full address, www.mynewsite.com. Make sure you kill it from here. So it basically should just be name of the site, www.nameofthesite.com. Now if you go to more options, now depending on your connection to the internet, I use Time Warner Cable. Time Warner Cable doesn't, doesn't require passive FTP. So the deal is, if your connection is hanging up, experiment with either checking this on or checking this off, but it's not necessary to have it on. Then it's simply it's safe. Now, in addition to that, we want to set up a testing server. So we're going to click testing server and I save. So Dreamweaver is now going to come up with a window. If I click right here, here's my split window. So this is my local files. This is my server. I connect to the server by clicking right here. The shortcut for this window is Command Shift F. Command Shift F opens. Command Shift F closes. If you're on Windows, it's Control Shift F. Macintosh Command Shift F. So simply connect to your server. Select the file. Download the file. So connect to the server. Select the file. Download the file. When you want upload the file, select the file, upload the file. It's that simple.